Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange. Today I'm here to recommend thriller and suspense books that I have enjoyed recently. I'll be honest, my tastes definitely have shifted towards horror over the last few years, but that doesn't mean that I still don't enjoy a really good thriller. So when a good one comes along, I definitely take interest and I have five books to talk about today that I personally loved and I think that you will too. All that being said, let's get started. First, I wanna recommend Final Girls by Riley Saker, which is about a woman who goes on vacation with a group of friends in college. They go to a cabin in the woods and something happens, there is a big massacre and she's the only one to come out alive. She comes out of the woods screaming, covered in blood, and has no memory of what actually happened. Now, years later, she's trying to move on from those events, but it's not as easy as it seems. And she has formed a bit of a relationship with other girls that are called the final girls, because in one way or another, they have survived a massacre of their own. When one of those other girls dies, she gets pulled back into that world and begins to basically try to unravel what happened. This book was a lot of fun. Part of what I like so much about it is that while it definitely is a thriller, it very much is a love letter to horror novels and horror fiction and of course horror movies because there's the classic trope of the final girl, the one that survives to the end of the slasher flick. And I really enjoy that trope and really enjoy books and movies that play around with that. So if you enjoy horror and are open to reading a thriller, this is a great one to pick up. It was a lot of fun. I didn't guess the ending and I just thought it was a really fun, twisty book to read and very much enjoyed it. Now I realized that Final Girls is a pretty popular book, so I wanted to follow it up by recommending one that is a little more underhyped online, and that is Disturbed by Jennifer Jans, which has a similar premise. It's about a woman who has a party on Halloween with her college friends, something terrible happens, there is a massacre, and she is the only one to survive, but again, she has a shattered memory and doesn't really know what happened. Years later, again, she is trying to move on. However, she starts getting notes and messages that are from some anonymous person and her past just won't stay away. I really enjoyed this one because it was a book that I could not guess what was going on. I thought I knew what was happening and I was wrong, which is one of my favorite things. I read so much of the genre that I love an author that can surprise me. It definitely has a similar setup to Final Girl, so I think it's a really good one to read if you've read that one already and are looking for another thriller. But at the same time, it's very much its own. It's not a copycat. I'm actually not sure which one came out first but I thoroughly enjoyed it and would definitely recommend it to more people who enjoy thrillers as much as I do or even more so. Next, I have another fun one to recommend and that is Creep by Jennifer Hillier. This is about a female professor who has a bit of a sex addiction and becomes involved with one of her college students. However, she has just become engaged and is trying to go on the straight and narrow so she breaks things off with the student and tries to put that all behind her. However, things are not as simple as she wants them to be and the student ends up becoming obsessed with her, he stalks her and just won't leave her alone. And this is the kind of story I really enjoy. I love a story with an obsessive partner. And this one was just a lot of fun. It has some good creepy moments and is just one that you will fly through. Thoroughly enjoyed it and highly recommend it. It's one that I've gushed about before, but I don't feel like enough people have read it, so I'm going to gush about it again in this video here. Another one I have to gush about is Perfect Days by Rafael Montez, which is about a sociopathic medical student who becomes obsessed with a young woman. He ends up kidnapping her and taking her on a road trip across Brazil. She is trying to write a play, and so he decides to help her out to inspire her to finish it. And this book is just so much fun. It has a lot of good body horror moments in it, which I really enjoy, but it definitely falls on the side of being more of a thriller. It's just fun to watch this obsessive character go down this dark path and things just go from bad to worse. It's fun in the way that I call thrillers fun, but it is dark and grim and not for everyone, but it definitely was for me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would love to see more people check it out, so I definitely had to include it on this list. And last but not least, I want to recommend Silent Child by Sarah A. Denzel. And this is a story of a mother who loses her son in a terrible storm. They believe that her son was swept away in the river. However, years later, a 
boy shows up and it appears that he is her son and was not killed but rather was kidnapped. And the reason for the title is that he does not speak and so he's not able to identify his kidnapper. So the story is the mother trying to first reconnect with her son but of course also figure out who kidnapped him and what was going on. I really enjoyed this one. It was very addicting. It was fast paced and fun. It's not the most surprising book. I was able to guess the ending quite early on, at least part of it. And I think most people who read a lot of thrillers will be able to guess generally what's happening. So if you're looking to be surprised, this one might not be for you. But if you just want an addicting story, you want to just go along for a really fun roller coaster ride, I highly recommend this one. I was obsessed with it. I read it very quickly because I couldn't put it down. And that doesn't happen to me a lot these days when it comes to thrillers. So definitely recommend that one. I am a sucker for a kidnapping story and this one fit the bill perfectly. So that's it for this video. Those are a couple of thrillers and suspense books that I would definitely recommend. Let me know if you plan on picking up any of the books I mentioned here today. As well, share your own recommendations down below because I'm always looking for more. And please like, comment, and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this in the future. I certainly could put together another list if that's something that would be interesting to you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.